Welcome back to Mathwino. Solve the inner solutions of this equation. 8 to the power of x, the minus 2 to the power of x, all divided by 6 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. As our first step, we should regard this 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And this 6 is 2 times 3. 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x, then all to the power of 3. So it is 2 to the power of x, then all to the power of 3, minus 2 to the power of x. Now, here comes the denominator. Since 6 is 2 times 3, then 6 to the power of x is 2 times 3, then all to the power of x. It is equal to 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x, then minus 3 to the power of x. And then, is equal to 2. Now, what should we do? The numerator, 2 to the power of x, or cube, the minus 2 to the power of x, we can take out a 2 to the power of x. So, it is 2 to the power of x, and then, what's in the bracket? It is 2 to the power of x, and then, all squared, and then minus 1. Nice! Now, I'm going to multiply by this denominator on the both hand sides. Then, it is equal to 2 times this. In this term, I can take out 3 to the power of x. And then, what's in the bracket? 2 to the power of x minus 1. Good! For our next step, I'm going to use a formula. A squared then minus B squared is equal to A plus B then times A minus B. So this, 2 to the power of x then all squared then minus 1, this one I can regard it as 1 squared. So it is 2 to the power of x then times A is 2 to the power of x, B is 1. First, add them together and then times The subtraction. The third binomial formula. 2 times 3 to the power of x and then times 2 to the power of x minus 1. All of you must have noticed 2 to the power of x minus 1. Cancel? No, no, no. The only way is it is not equal to zero. But can it be zero? 2 power of x and minus 1 is zero. That means 2 power of x is equal to 1. Can 2 power of x is equal to 1? Of course it can when x is equal to zero. But can x be zero? No, because when x is equal to zero, 6 to the power of x and minus 3 to the power of x is the denominator. Then, it'll be 1 minus 1 is 0. But the denominator can never be 0. So, x cannot be 0. That means, x can never be 0. So that means, we can cancel this 2 power of x minus 1 on the both sides. For next step, we can divide it by 2 on the both sides. Then, this 2 to the power of x will be 2 to the power of x minus 1. 2 to the power of x minus 1. And then times 2 to the power of x plus 1. 2 divided by 2, it will be 1. So ignore 3 to the power of x. This guy looks not so nice. But maybe you have found... When x is equal to 1, you can get that 1 times 3 is equal to 3. The equation can be hold. But now we have to find all of the integer solutions of this equation. Pay attention, it is integer, not positive integer. The first thing, x is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, this equation can be hold. 
8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. It is correct. And we have our second case. The second case when x is not equal to 1. Of course, it also cannot be 0. Now we can explain x is greater than or equal to 2 and x is an integer. Since x minus 1 and x are always positive integers. So now we have to pay attention to their parities. The base is 2. To the power of any positive integers, the result are always even. To the power of any positive integers, then plus 1 are always odd. And 3 to the power of x, the result are always odd. But an even number, then times an even number, is even, cannot be odd. Of course, we also have the third case. The third case is when x is negative. Now substitute x is equal to negative n into this equation. a to the power of negative x is equal to 1 over a to the power of x. So now, it is 1 divided by 2 to the power of n plus 1. And then times 2 to the power of negative n, then plus 1. This 2 to the power of negative n is equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power of n. And 1 divided by 2 to the power of n, then plus 1, it is 1 plus 2 to the power of n, and then all divided by 2 to the power of n. This, 3 to the power of negative n, it is equal to 1 divided by 3 to the power of n. Okay. 1 plus 2 to the power of n all over 2 to the power of n plus 1 plus n 2n plus 1 is equal to 1 divided by 3 to the power of n. Solve this equation by cross multiply. You can get 3 to the power of n and times 1 plus 2 to the power of n, it is equal to 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. Since n is always a positive integer, 3 to the power of n is always odd, and 1 plus 2 to the power of n is also always odd. An odd number then times an odd number is always odd, but 2 to the power of 2n plus 1, it is always even. But odd cannot be equal to even. So, in this case, for this case, we should delete. So the only solution to this equation is x is equal to 1. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me some up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.